Hi everyone, this is Diane. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for coming back today. I went back to that living estate sale that I went to yesterday. Um, today was half price day and I walked. Um, it's not that far away. It takes, it's about a 10 minute walk, but it's a bit nasty out today. Um, but I needed to take a little walk, so I did that. And then I ended up having to walk back home and get my car because I bought this tray like a, a box tray that maybe cans would come in in the grocery store, you know. And it was full of these pieces. And I didn't necessarily want them all, but they were marked $5 for everything, and it was half price. So I thought, well, I can keep what I want and share with my sisters if they want any of it. So anyway, I got these pieces and I got a couple other things and then I got some 75% uh, off clearance from Hobby Lobby yesterday so uh, let's just take a look at what I have to show you. I love this piece. That's the bottom of it. Of course these aren't for junk journals but some of you might be interested in seeing these pieces. This is from Austria. Isn't that beautiful? Sorry about the lighting, but like I said, it's a nasty day, and it's gloomy. Look at that handle. This one looks newer. It's not It's not new, but it doesn't look as old as those, but it is so beautiful. This one is a plain one, and solid, sturdy, but I like it. <clears throat> That one is beautiful. Look at the shape of that. And it's got some embossed design on the back. Pretty shape and the handle looks like twigs. This is from Prussia. There's no such thing as Prussia anymore. And this, a present from Windsor, Canada, but it features Alexandra and Edward the Seventh. Yeah, Edward the Seventh. So I think she's Queen Elizabeth's grandmother or great grandmother. Great grandmother. I don't know. Something like that. But isn't that pretty? And then this one is Corner of Tioga and South Main Street, Athens, Pennsylvania. I didn't even notice that. That is cool. I used to live on South Main Street. All right. So that's that stuff. It has nothing to do with junk journals. And then the other things I got from the estate sale was just this. There were just a few things here that I wanted, and, and everything that I bought cost $5 altogether. So all of those pieces. This is a wired ribbon, but, but I like the fabric and I can cut the wire out. And it came in this box of Christmas stuff. But there were some kind of cool Christmas napkins. I looked at this little box yesterday and debated, but I don't really need Christmas stuff, but, but I really liked this napkin. And there were some doilies in red, big one, and snowflake, medium size, and this one, six and a half inches. And this, I guess they're placemats, but they all came together in one package. And I don't know what I paid for each thing, but it seems like... I wonder if I'm missing something because I don't think this box and this book should have been $250 on a half price day. But I don't know. I know I didn't pay much, so I'm, I'm okay with it. So yeah, these are kind of fabric-y, plastic-y, but that would be fun in a journal. It could even be a journal cover. Four of them. And then this. I missed this yesterday. They had books under a table, but they were standing like that so you could see the spines, and I barely looked at them yesterday. 
And today, this one just jumped right out at me. I've had this book before. I think I had it for myself way back before I even, before junk journals were a thing. It's from 1991. It has photographs. These I could cut out. And then it has some illustrations. Reader's Digest. Reader's Digest does a good job making books, don't they? All kinds of books. That's the estate sale. <clears throat> and then I went to Michael or Hobby Lobby last night with my son and my daughter-in-law. And I bought some things that I don't normally buy. So it was fun. This is something I, I never buy these kits. But and they had several that were marked down, but I liked this one. I thought I would use some of these die cuts, and I liked the papers, and it was $1.74, and I would use these too. go through all of these, but these are kind of fun. There's some things in here, um, what I went through them last night and I thought, oh, I don't really like that style. So these, those would be the kinds of things I would set aside to add as freebies um, with my orders when people order stuff from my shop. So I like all of those things. And I think somebody would like the ones that I Where'd I put them? Oh, it was uh, another set. Never mind. I'll show you that in a minute. So we've got all these frames. So I think I'll have fun using these in some of my own journals. My scripture journal and my Amity Bloom journal. Stuff like that. I like all those things. I'm not really big on alphabet stickers but I like those colors are cute and then this is stickers or rub-ons I think they're stickers I don't know yeah they're stickers and then these papers Two of each. I thought these would just be fun for a nice bright retro journal with images from my retro books. This is the, the box that the other glassware came in. I found these. I had watched uh, Meg's Hobby Lobby haul. Um, she's um, chasing retro. And I saw this in her haul and I thought, that is adorable. And I probably wouldn't even have looked for it if I hadn't seen her video. But I love that font. As she said, it looks like the text from a children's book. And I thought flashcards, you could make your own little flashcards with these. And I got the uh, out, the capital uppercase ones that go with it. And they were $3.74 a set and they come in a tin box. So I'm really glad I saw whoops, I saw Meg's video. I got something else that she got too that I probably wouldn't have looked at. <laughs> she just, as I'm watching her video, she gave me ideas about stuff and I thought, 
That's kind of the fun of watching what other people get. You might look at something with new eyes. This is the set that I bought. This is not on clearance. I paid full price for this because I really liked the pieces. And this is the only thing besides... I got some tape. they are the only things I got that weren't on sale. But these are the kinds of things that I probably wouldn't use. With the big palm leaves and the fronds. And I don't like the faded color. <clears throat> it's just not me. But somebody else would like them. So I will put these in my office where I do my packing of orders and I'll have them handy to give as freebies. But I'll use the rest. I like the flowers and then there are some cute birds too and butterflies. And it's Paper Studio. 50 designs. 100 pieces. There's two of each. got this that was $1.99 so I thought it was worth it to try an ombre ink I had trouble getting the lid off yesterday too <laughs> there we go I'll have to try that and let you see how it looks um, they had a couple of colors of the wax seals on clearance, so a dollar fifty for a uh, white and a gold. It's not like a metallic gold; it's just a gold color. I uh, got three of these. They were a dollar forty-nine, and they're usually about three dollars. I mean, that's what they're printed on the card. And they're five yards. I think that's what they were before. How could they possibly have gone down half price? I don't know. I think that they used to be five yards. But anyway, I got them. And this, 62 cents, and they were regular $3. It's a dropper bottle, and I thought for 62 cents, I'm sure I would find a use for them. But I thought... For one thing, I could put some rubbing alcohol in one of them and drop it down onto inks and colors, paints and things. It makes a cool effect on them. And I don't know. I'll find something else to do with them. And then I got this sticker pad for $1.24 because I like the colors of these. They kind of go along with the colors of that paper kit that I got. And I think the rest is from the jewelry department. This is the thing that Meg got. Um, she said she uses them in shaker cards. And I thought, what an awesome idea. There are... doesn't say how many are in there. They probably don't even know. It probably is just filled by weight. But look at them all. These tiny, bright little flowers. $2.50. Uh, I got this little bag of jump rings for $1.87. It's a good deal. And these pretty little charms, $0.74 cents for four of them. And these were $0.99 cents just to glue onto something. It's a flat adhesive gem. 16 pieces. I thought they were pretty. And the rest are similar but different. And I like them because they're a pretty a pretty charm but and they already have the jump ring attached. They already have the loop. All I have to do is find something to put them on. This was a dollar 74 and it has um, uh, five, 10 pieces. Well, it says right there 10 pieces. Can you see? It's just a faceted bead. on a jump ring. And this one, there are nine here for $1.99 and each one of these has three little charms hanging from it. And the charms are in a setting. And there's different colors. These are fun. There are 18 pieces because these are separate pieces. Look at them all. 
$2.99 for faceted round meal fleury charm. So can you see the design there? They're so pretty. And lastly, I got this one for $1.49. It says tiny round glass charms. And it's the same as this one, but they're different colors. But this one was a dollar forty nine. This was a dollar ninety nine, and they started out at the same price. So I think somebody must have made a mistake there. But I was happy to get some really fun beads and things to play with. So no stamps. Well, I can't. I can't say that. I got those alphabet stamps. Um, but I usually like to look at stamps and paper and things like that, and I didn't get much of that. So, and these, I don't usually get jewelry stuff once in a while. But I had fun. It was a fun evening out with my son and his wife and daughter. And uh, we went out for dinner and had fun. I needed it after the week that I've had. A stressful week for me. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed seeing uh, part two of my estate sale. Because I went two different days and my Hobby Hobby clearance. What did you like the best out of all of it? Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're having a creative day today, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.